Also, there's a high-handedness. When they start lecturing me about fake news, you guys have been on this obsessive jihad against fake news. I'm thinking, well, I kind of believe that Iraq had massive stockpiles of weapons of mass destruction because I read it in the New York Times. And of course, that wasn't true. I thought maybe Tawana Brawley was telling the truth because I read it in the New York Times. So to lecture me or the rest of the country about fake news, not really in a position to do that. Fair? I, don't, I think that there's a category of fake news that goes out, and you know this, that is intentional. It's intentionally trying to trick you into something. Right. I don't think that's the same as weapons of mass destruction, where, where the, the journalists were not up to their highest standards, and you know I'm among those. I was, I was, you know, at the Washington Post at that time, too. So I'm not blaming anybody else. But the intention was not to put out fake news. That's different than. But I think swept up into the category of fake news is not just Ukrainian bloggers trying to undermine American democracy. It's also sites yeah. the Times doesn't agree with, and like, well, that's just fake because I disagree. That's my impression. Yeah. Liz Spade, okay. thank you. I okay. appreciate it. Thank it's you. great to see you.